What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there in your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here at the University of North Carolina with AD Rick Steinbacher. How are you doing, Rick? Great, George. Appreciate y'all uh, coming. Welcome to Keenan Football Center. Yeah, no, it's an amazing place and we're glad to be here. Now, you're the perfect person to talk to. You handle and manage the capital projects and this is the latest renovation you guys have done in you know, the athletic programs. Uh, can you describe what you guys did here? You know, this is Keenan Football Center. It was one of the first of its kind, a wholly one location of everything a football program needed. Coach Brown ironically helped design this building back in the late 90s, and he left to go to Texas before he ever even moved into this building. So it's been a real joy having him back for the last four years. His wife is an incredibly successful architect, uh, so she's a big part of it as well. So we've really spent the last four years taking a great building and modernizing it, making it more fun, making it more vibrant, uh, asking the players, what do you need to be successful? What do you need to really enjoy being a part of this football program? And that's what we've done. Now, 2023 has brought about different changes within the arms race of facilities, right? We uh, focus on mental health in, in different parts, the outdoor areas. Um, what was you guys' focus in kind of the renovations leading up to now? Our focus for the football facilities is the same as Coach Brown's for the entire program. You know, he always says his vision is he wants his football program to have more fun than any other college football program. You mentioned mental health. People are taking this game too seriously. Uh, it's still a game played by 18 to 23 year olds. Uh, so have fun is number one. Uh, number two is graduate every student athlete that comes here. This is one of the top public institutions in the world. Number three is we wanna win all the games. And then finally, uh, Coach Brown has a uh, motto uh, it's called, it's a 40 year decision, not a four year decision. You know, what he means by that is when you leave here, whenever you're done playing football, whether that's you get hurt your first year here, you graduate here, or even if you go on to a 10 year NFL career, you have a great life long after you're done playing football. So those four things, uh, hopefully as you see our facilities, you'll see one of those four things in, in everything that we've done and every decision that we've made. Yeah, one of the really cool traditions, George, here at Carolina is the Carolina Duke rivalry. Uh, you know, everybody's so familiar with Carolina Duke rivalry in basketball. We got a pretty heated rivalry in football, too. Uh, whoever wins that game every year wins the victory bell. And I'll show you the actual victory bell here in a second. Uh, but this is a tradition that Coach Brown started. Uh, every senior class, if you win the game, gets a picture of your entire senior class on their victory bell the day after the game. The branding around the facility, classic NC, but then the Jordan symbol, you guys have that everywhere. How important is it to kind of brand that like throughout the facility? You just mentioned the two key words, branding and recruiting. You know, I've often said, and I believe it to be true, Coach Brown is the greatest recruiter in the history of college football. Uh, he proved that here, he proved that at Texas, and he's proved that here again. He's got such a great mind for storytelling throughout a building. Uh, you know, I already showed you the victory bell wall. Well, here's the actual victory bell. Um, so they see the photos, uh, and then this is here to remind them every single day what's at stake when we play Duke. Uh, this is a great photo here. Uh, Coach Brown said, give me a group shot. And then I want you to Photoshop on top of that group shot, the most recognizable numbers in the history of Carolina football. Uh, so 49, Julius Peppers, 23, Don McCauley, a whole bunch of number ones. Uh, Jonathan Cooper, 64, Lawrence Taylor, 98. That's the kind of mind that he has uh, for all those little details. And then this whole hallway, uh, you can't see it all from here, but this is every first round draft pick that's ever played for Carolina. Uh, so if you start here, you got Lawrence Taylor, Julius Peppers, Mitch Trubisky, Eric Ebron, all the way down the hall. And the final one you'll see is it's basically blank and says you can be the next first round draft pick from Carolina. Okay, Rick, when a recruit comes in, is this the, the wow moment here out of any of the other portions of the facility? You know, we try to have wow moments throughout the building. Yeah but there's nothing more wow than a recruit being in here after a game that we won. There's nothing better than watching a team celebrate a big win. We have a tradition that goes back long before I even played here. Uh, if you win the game, you sing the fight song. That's a really cool moment because you'll have the team here doing that and then you'll have all the top recruits back there watching it. It's really neat because those recruits, that's when they kind of connect and start to dream about being a Carolina player. Definitely. Talk to me about this guy. Who is he? Coach Brown and Coach Hess are strength coach. They are very strict disciplinarians. Uh, you will dress like the team. You will look like the team. You will wear what the team issued you. Uh, so this is the mannequin that whatever that mannequin's wearing that day, don't you dare walk outside that door wearing anything else. Uh, so today's a lifting day. He's wearing lifting shoes and shorts and a t-shirt, but you better make sure those are the ones you're wearing. If it's a full pads day, he'll have shoulder pads and helmets on. If it's a banquet that we need you to wear a coat and tie on, that mannequin will be wearing a suit. So it's pretty hard to walk out that door and claim you didn't know what you were supposed to wear. 
The most frustrating thing about buying tickets to live events from ticketing services is figuring out the view situation. They leave you thinking, okay, so I get I'll be in section 201, but is row Triple H really a good seat? But now, thanks to game time, I not only see the seat location, but also the view I'll have. My favorite features in the game time app are the last call tickets, the ease of locating tickets for any event in my area, and the one feature that almost got me in trouble was Apple Pay. I was just a double click away from floor seats to the drink concert that night. Game time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. All in prices show your total up front, so you know you're getting a great deal without any hidden fees. Plus, they're obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on your tickets with things like zone deals, where you pick this section and game time picks the seats for an average of 18% savings. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code Koiski for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code C-O-I-S-K-I for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Outdoor spaces are becoming a thing in college athletics. What are you guys doing and planning in this area? This is the roof. The location is absolutely perfect to create this awesome courtyard. Uh, right over there is our training table. Uh, so now you can walk out of our training table onto outdoor dining and then onto this courtyard here. And you can walk right into our player's lounge, which we just recently renovated over there. And that creates, like you said, all kinds of fun outdoor things. Uh, we asked the players, we said, what do you want? Um, they said, we want our uh, nutritionists and our chefs to teach us how to cook. Uh, so these are going to be two huge grills in a cooking area where we'll be able to teach the guys how to make steaks, how to make salmon, how to do all kinds of things. Right. Uh, they wanted outdoor seating, so we got that for them. You know, dining seating over there, kind of lounge seating here. They wanted a basketball hoop. Uh, we said, all right, guys, now this thing's for horse. Yeah. This thing's not for Duncan. <laughs> and then we'll use this primarily for the players, but it'll also be an awesome space on game day for our recruits. All right, Rick, this might be one of the most flexible player lounges I've been in. Like, you have everything. I really like this space because it's where fun meets functionality. You know, we had our players meet directly with our architects. And we said, guys, tell them what you want. Um, obviously, they wanted the typical gaming systems, papa shots, pool table, ping pong. Uh, but we said, what do you need to be successful? Um, and they said, we need a sleep room. Uh, so they got a room filled with sleep pods where they can get a 20 minute nap. Um, that's so important. Uh, there's a strong correlation between lack of sleep and student athlete injuries. So we want to make sure when they get a little bit of downtime, they can make the most of it. Uh, we got an active recovery room for them. Uh, put in these really nice aqua massage chairs for them. Uh, we'd heard they would like them. Uh, they like them way more than we had heard. Uh, they've been a big hit. And then they've got a great academic support center, you know, only 120 yards away. Uh, but sometimes they've got 15, 20 minutes between meetings to work on a paper or turn something in. Uh, so we created a study lounge for them right here uh, in the football center. Uh, we gave them a virtual reality room. Uh, still trying to tweak with that and figure out what that's for. Uh, they've enjoyed it. Uh, we created a barbershop for them. Uh, that way the guys, instead of having to take an hour and a half out of the day to go get their haircut, they can pop in and out of here in 10 minutes. And then because of NIL, we wanted to make sure they had some new tools uh, to really help them with their branding, help them with their communication skills, uh, and help them develop skills that are going to uh, serve them long after they're done playing football. So we created a, uh, an audio podcasting room, which can also be a video podcasting room, and it's connected to a video editing suite. So you really got everything you would have almost in a TV studio right there. Okay, Coach Hess, uh, velocity-based training. You guys use that a lot here. Uh, describe that and how you guys use it. We utilize the trap bar jump stroke for our power development and Perch has been incredible for giving us, uh, allowing our athletes to get feedback on it. So they're not just jumping with the bar in their hands, they're getting feedback on how fast that bar is moving, what their power output is. Um, so that trap bar jump shrug and that trap bar jump, that feedback is what makes that, that movement have value. And it's a huge movement for us. On top of that, it's gonna get thrown onto the TV, so it's gonna rank the guys. We're also gonna utilize it for our traditional dynamic effort. So putting force into the ground as fast as possible. The feedback is key for that. You know, we know the quality that we're training based on the speed that that's coming off that bar but also to drive that effort from the guys the perch has been huge for us the great thing about this is that it's all going to get uploaded so we got a sports scientist on staff simon hockey and he's evaluating everything we do from squat bench to that trap bar jump trap bar jump shrug evaluating that athlete and the program now the facility itself uh it's more of a horizontal how does that kind of help you as far as the program and, and kind of benefiting it. For us, it works out really well because um, we're going to be divided up into different components of our training where we've got um, a system of where your needs are going to shape what program you go to. Once you go through our developmental program, it's based on what you need and the sports science is going to drive that. Do they need power? Do they need pure strength? Or do they have those qualities and now we just need advanced training to keep pushing them further to what's going to transfer to the field to that next level. So we're able to set up the room in those layers 
Okay, David, when most people think of UNC, they think of the, the Jordan logo, the, the Tar Heel blue, but sports medicine is like really big here. What do you guys do differently here than most programs across the country? Yeah, so I think one of the big things that make us different is kind of most of the sports medicine staff and all the athletic trainers, our team physicians, we're all hired through Campus Health. So kind of we pioneered um, kind of the medical model a long time ago uh, where you know, our supervisor is the director of sports medicine, then going through kind of the, the administration on that side as opposed to being hired through the football building, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we're still here and integrated and working with the team each day, every day. You know, the big benefit for our players is our physicians are hired through Campus Health. They're here, you know, eight to six every day. Um, someone gets sick, they can get them up, see our team doctor, the person they see each time that they're hurt or injured. They can get seen 10, 15 minutes later, right? We can get lab work done, testing done, x-rays, MRIs, all that done, you know, can get that done right on campus. How is it working for a program that like values that? Because a lot of programs across the country don't. They kind of value, hey, what are we doing on the field? What are we doing in the weight room? But like this university values having sports medicine, like the top of the top. We try to really integrate ourselves with all the other departments, right? So with us being hired through Campus Health, we have to work to really integrate ourselves with, you know, with Coach Hess and his staff, with, with the nutrition staff, with everybody else, and really with the coaches. Um, so they know, hey, we might be hired through a different department, but we're a part of this team. We're gonna work for the same goals, everything like that. Definitely. My last question, what tool do you feel like you guys utilize that's very different from any other program in the country? When Coach Brown came in and kind of asked what we wanted for a new training room, the big thing we said is we really, really, really want to focus on recovery, right? Um, we can help you guys get better. You know, we can treat your injuries, get you back quickly, but we would rather make sure that didn't happen in the first place. So we're really excited about our recovery pools that we're gonna have. Um, really excited about using that. Again, not for someone sprains their ankle, we wanna get them back running quicker, but a guy's got some aches and pains, some niggles, can we get them back? And the other thing we really wanted to emphasize is kind of the sports medicine department. You know, we got our sleep pods, we got our massage beds, we got all of that. Cryotherapy unit's gonna be up and running in a little bit. And then we work really hard, like we said, you know, meeting with strength staff, nutrition staff, using them as kind of an extension of this room to really focus on not just recovery, but preventing injuries, making sure guys are playing well, feeling good, doing the best they can with everything.